to remove your leg, they're going to grab me the best. Hey. Mm. I know you like this. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azine Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, it might be the end of the road for Nelly and Such. Yes, their ship, because Nelly Nelly, just a few minutes ago, came into the diary room with her pair, Anita, and told Big Brother that she is done. Yes, guys. Now, you guys will recall that yesterday we saw that there was trouble in their paradise um, because of the whole question of blood group. And Nelly was not having it with the way Suj treated the whole matter trivially. And that is why she is upset. Yes, guys. Well, she told Big Brother with all finality that that ship is done for because according to her whatever Suj does to her these days just annoys her and she is done on the other hand we have anita who is also having issues with tofa now it's crazy how whenever there is trouble in nelly's camp we'll also find it that there is also issues brewing in anita's camp yes guys anita on her own and said she fell down yesterday now we all saw her you know having a moment alone in the garden while the others were busy playing charades last night she said that Tofa at some point yesterday did not see her for 30 minutes and did not even come to check on her or to know what's up with her. Rather, she comes back after 30 minutes to see Tofa cackling and giggling and laughing. So looking at things now, it looks like two ships in the house are down. Now, honestly, I don't know what to make of all this. Honestly, I feel like the whole thing that Ibuka said on Sunday, especially the part where he called them ultimate love, big brother, Niger housemates kind of got to the girls. Yes, guys, maybe they just feel like, you know what? This whole thing is not working. Anita also coupled with the fact of the age issue, Nelly, you know, with the whole Suge and Onyeka situation, maybe they just found a way to step away from the whole shipping situation that's what i think because coming into that house looking at nelita pair that is nelly and anita i can see they are very focused girls they are very how do i put it um they are game players in that house i mean looking at them from the first week second week you can tell that they came there for a purpose and they don't want to deviate from their purpose but now the question is can a ship actually end in big brother's house where the two people in that ship are still very much in that house well let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section now moving on we are still going to talk about this onyeka situation but this time around we are going to be looking at it from ozzy's perspective because since last night or since yesterday ozzy has had a lot to say about onyeka um he talked a lot he talked about how onyeka would do stuff you know like basically throw stones and hide her hand you know um telling the other guys that Onyeka took this thing too far. You know, um, he also criticized her story during the Aquafina attacks, kind of like basically talking about different things that Onyeka had done and how he deserves an apology from Onyeka. Because according to him, that Onyeka knows that he has a madame, a girlfriend on the outside, and things she had done or things she has said to other people about their relationship or their friendship would have kind of created a narrative on the outside. And he is not ready for that because he values his relationship on the outside. Yes, guys. So that's just in a nutshell things he has said. Now, also during his diary session, um, one big brother told them, okay, you can leave the diary room now because Yes, the question of Onyeka did not really come up in his diary session. He actually asked Big Brother that he has something to say to clear his name. He said um, that this whole situation of um, a triangle between him, Onyeka, and Victoria, 
he is like not aware of it, you know, especially because of the way it was said on Sunday is creating a narrative and he is not part of that. You know, that what he feels for Onyeka is deeply platonic, nothing romantic and all of that. And Big Brother tried to let him know there is no smoke without fire. I mean, if she thinks that way, maybe you have been, you know, fanning that fire and now, or fanning the smoke and it's now a fire or fanning the fire and it's not a smoke, whichever one. And he was like, yes, be better. I understand you will say that. But from my own end, everything I've been doing was simply platonic and organic. Like, yes, I feel like, okay, the way I relate with people, to some people, the, the strength of that relationship will be higher than some. But all in all, honestly, from his own perspective, like he said, is simply platonic. Now, um, looking at that, I saw this tweet and I want to read it out. Somebody said, the way OZ is trying hard to change the narrative and lie on Onyeka and manipulate his girlfriend and the viewers on his flirtatious naughty moves that we watch for two whole weeks and many people, including some housemates, are believing him is exactly what many women in the Nigerian society are facing in their homes. When a man is wrong, he knows within him that he messed up but can never take responsibilities and apologize. Rather, he begins to gaslight both the woman and the concerned family members who eventually will be in be on his side and subject the woman to bottle up unspoken pains. Women go through a lot of evil from men, but the loudest even in that situation is the man because the society will try to understand him and give him a pass while the woman is condemned and silenced. Do you agree with this tweet that this person put out? Do you feel that Ozzy is trying to gaslight Onyeka or manipulate his madame on the outside? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section now for me this is what i think it's a two-way thing i am not going to heap all the blames on this mess on onyeka neither will i heap all of it on ozzy ozzy enabled this let's not lie right ozzy enabled onyeka's boldness to even think that there is something more than just friendship between them but then again if you look at OC's, OC this time, relationship with um, Chizoba rather, you see that they are kind of very similar to the way OZ relates with Onyeka. But then I think the thing that caused Onyeka's head to feel like, okay, this guy likes me romantically was some of the you know, little minute gestures that he puts out, the pegs, the extra hugs and all of that, it kind of made her believe that he wants her more than as a friend. And also when he says, oh, you know, I love you. Maybe in her head, she doesn't feel like the love is, you know, I love you as a friend. So I think is sometimes there's a confusion between what he says and how he acts towards her. And she has weighed it and thought to herself, maybe he doesn't act that way, maybe towards a handy or a wani or any other girl in that house. So she feels like, you know what, maybe he has put her or yeah, in this special place. And that place is a maybe kind of relationship kind of place. Yeah. And coming from Onyeka, Onyeka basically, let's not lie, she blew this out of proportion. All that would have, this whole thing would have just ended with a proper conversation with OZ and making sure that those blurry lines are actually being, you know, straightened. The fact that she was telling everybody that cared to listen, telling her sister, even her sister had a conversation with her about this, even before it happened. I don't know if you guys would remember that day in the locker room. Her sister was like, I know you, Onyeka. I know you that you are falling for this person. And I know how you can get when the person you are falling for start talking with other girls. So it's better we nip it in the bud immediately. But she was like, nah, there was no love. I mean, I'm cool and all of that. And now we've seen how the whole thing spiraled, right? I do not want her to be silenced. I still want the Onyeka that I know, the BBC and CNN in that house. But honestly, I want her to move differently. I want her to understand herself. And just like Suj said, create boundaries. 
Like you cannot, you know, start a fire and start shouting that the fire is burning down the whole house. Meanwhile, you're the one that struck the match first. But I really want to hear your opinion on all of this in the comment section. Now, from that to something quite serious that I noticed. Now, you know that yesterday morning, Handy had told her sister something that had happened to her while she was asleep, how Ben grouped her breast or her nipple um, without her consent. And since that moment, I don't know if it's me, the camera have kind of refused to show them for more than maybe 10 minutes. All through yesterday, the time we even saw them more was during the lush hair tax. Now, secondly, we had a conversation between Onyeka. I think it was Onyeka telling Chis about how Ben was down and he was kind of crying that evening. That was yesterday evening. And immediately they wanted to talk more about it. The camera once again panned away from that. Number three, today during Wani and Handy's diary session, um, they talked about like surface level and i think at some point they wanted to go deeper into it and people has just said um handy we will address your issue or we'll talk about your issue much later i do not know how this all sounds but i feel like there might be something going on that we are not supposed to know because it kind of like it's very creepy it's it's somehow I mean, why can't they just address that issue, right? Because when Ilebaye's clothes were littered on the floor by Ike and his cohorts that year, I know how Big Brother swiftly responded to it. When Ilebaye pulled Sissy's hair, right, Big Brother the next day swiftly responded to it. Why are we not seeing that now? I mean, the footage is there or is it not? If it was just a misunderstanding, I believe Big Brother should address it. I don't know. I have more questions about this than answers. But like I said um, in my video yesterday morning, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Big Brother said he will address it. So we trust Big Brother's judgment. And we hope that this will be addressed um, so that the whole world that are watching will actually see what went wrong. Well, on that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Izzy Williams.